Hello and welcome to a Monkey Logic design tutorial. I'm Michael, and today I'm going to show you how to see Adobe Captivate's SCORM debug logs in a learning management system or LMS. When you're building a Captivate file that needs to report data to an LMS, you have to enable SCORM reporting options. After the file is uploaded to your LMS, everything should work correctly. However, there may be instances where there is an issue between the Captivate SCORM file and the LMS. If you've already done troubleshooting in your file and ensured that your SCORM settings are configured correctly per the requirements of your LMS, then being able to see the SCORM logs can provide some additional insight into reporting problems. Recent versions of Captivate do give you the ability to see these logs from within Captivate if you use the Preview and SCORM Cloud option. The logs in the bottom of the window then show you the communication between your file and SCORM Cloud. Most of the time you likely won't need any of this information, but if you want to see the logs after the Captivate file is published and uploaded to your LMS, you'll have to make a change to one of your published files, which I'll show you in a moment. The zip file I have here is a SCORM-enabled Captivate file I've already published, and I'm going to upload it into SCORM Cloud. With the file uploaded, I'm going to select Launch, the project appears, and now it's waiting for me to press the play button to begin the training. At this time, and if you were not aware of this ability, I'm going to launch the SCORM debug window by pressing and holding the shift key on my keyboard and pressing the question mark key three times. The SCORM debug window appears, but it's blank. If you've ever reached this point before and discovered the exact same problem, it's because we have to modify one of Captivate's published files to tell it to write the debug info so it will appear in the debug window. So I'll close the debug and SCORM file windows and delete the file from SCORM Cloud. Opening the zip file and navigating to the Assets folder, then the JS folder, I'll select the cpm.js file and drag it into Windows Explorer. This only makes a copy of the file and doesn't remove it from the zip file. Now I'll right click on cpm.js and select Edit with Notepad++. You can edit this file in any text editor you want, like Notepad or Sublime Text, but I would recommend not using a word processor like Microsoft Word. This is just a precaution to make sure that a word processing application isn't modifying anything in the file accidentally. You can find the line to modify by opening a search window and searching for debug info with no spaces. The term debug info is found in this file more than once, but we want this result. I'll change false to true, press Ctrl S to save the file, close it, drag it back into the zip file, confirm that I want to copy the file into the archive, and then close the zip file. Now I can upload the file into SCORM Cloud again, select Launch, and with the file loaded, I'll press and hold Shift on my keyboard and then press question mark three times. The debug window appears, but now contains all the SCORM debug information. That's all I have for this video, and I hope this helps you out. For Monkey Logic Design, I'm Michael, and keep looking for ways to take your creativity further.